Good morning, McAvenue School. Mr. Domina here handling the McAvenue morning announcements. Today is Wednesday, May 10th, 2023. Thank you once again for joining me for the Wednesday edition of McAvenue's morning announcements. It's been a glorious week weather-wise. Perfect time to get outside and enjoy during your recess and after school time. But it is busy, 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 and we have lots to cover on this edition. We have a few reminders before we launch the traditional morning announcement. So here we go. It is National School Nurse Day. So it's time to celebrate and honor all of the school nurses uh, across the country. And our school nurse, Nurse Robin, simply amazing, as everybody knows, taking care of everyone here, both students and faculty with any medical needs. So if you happen to see Nurse Robin around, say happy National Nurses Day. And if you uh, pop in because you need a Band-Aid or you have to get something checked out, make sure to say thank you for all the hard work um, that she does here. We couldn't do it without her. Um, and she is amazing. I wanted to give Nurse Robin a shout out. The office staff will, will do something a little special today for Nurse Robin as well. But it is National School Nurse Day. Um, we also, on Friday, there's so many of these national days that are all over the place. Teacher Appreciation Week is this week. We had a National School Nurse Day. Um, there's so many things that are happening. It was uh, Administrative Assistance Day uh, a few weeks ago on Friday. I totally missed it on May 5th. It was School Lunch Superhero Day, and that basically meant that we were uh, recognizing all of the people that work in food service in schools around the hard work that they do preparing amazing meals at McAvenue. And it's not just the pizza that's great here. It's all of the meals. I mean, literally the meals that we have here are simply amazing. They do a good job coming up with good menu choices and of course, preparing those dishes. They're actually really nice. They talk to kids. They make sure that you feel really comfortable and you get all of your food and nutrition needs taken care of. So when you go down to the calf today, say happy school lunch superhero day. It's one of those things, right? Or I think it's actually school lunch hero day. And you can just thank, thank the, the people that work in the kitchen area for all the hard work. And you can actually uh, start doing that today at lunch, even though it was Friday. It's never too late to do that. All right. So uh, we also have MCAS reminder. We're starting our last round of MCAS today with grade four. It'll be today and tomorrow. So as I reminded everyone during um, the grade three math MCAS last week, even though they're going to be testing up on the fourth grade hallway in a few locations in the building, do the best you can to be as quiet as possible, especially in those stairways. Still on uh, last week on Wednesday and Thursday, it was very loud with kids going in and out of the building um, for recess. Um, also for specials with Mr. Lucky. Um, so just make sure that you do your best because the sound travels and it gets very, very loud, even though that you are on the first or second floor, it still makes its way up to the third floor, especially on a nice day like today. So do our best to be as quiet as possible. Um, and I know our grade four students are ready to go. So we don't even need to wish them any good luck, they're gonna do amazing, all right? So that is your MCAS reminder. And now we're ready to start after those few quick updates to start like we always do, coming together as one unified collective school, showing our ultimate sign of respect. You know it by reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. So let's stand up, turn your voice off, put your right hand over your heart, make sure to face the flag that's in your classroom or learning space, and we will begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic, for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Nice job, everyone, showing your ultimate sign of respect. Last day for the Warrior Two pose before we wrap it up for the week. Remember, Friday we pause yoga because it's Friday dance party. We get our bodies and minds working together as one in a fun way, and there'll be a brand new yoga pose next week starting on that Monday edition. So let's do that final Warrior Two pose. So everybody knows it starts out in the standing mountain pose, which is our feet hip width apart and our hands down by our side. And remember, I will turn sideways for the sake of the pose. And all we have to do is decide which leg are we going to step forward with and which leg are we going to keep behind. Mr. Domina chooses to step forward with his left leg with my knee bent and my right leg is completely locked just like the picture. Put your arms out to the side like you're making the letter T. 
And now you turn either way, it doesn't matter to you. You can turn toward your left or your right. I'm choosing with my right arm pointing in front of me. So I'm actually, believe it or not, turning to my left. And when I do that, I immediately feel that stretch in the back of my leg that is straight, that's not forward, my shoulder area and my hip area, all right? And remember, now we're gonna do that statement of affirmation. Remember, that's a statement that we say and we believe in and it will come true when we say it like we mean it, all right? So here we go. Say, I am powerful. All right, nice job. One more time. I am powerful. All right, great job. Take a deep breath in and release it. Now you want to just return to that standing mountain pose as carefully as possible. All right, so that's it. Warrior two pose. Love that pose. And as I mentioned before last week, I love that statement of affirmation. Um, the I am powerful, one of the best parts of this particular pose. So nice job, everyone, doing the warrior two pose. And that, like I mentioned before, stay tuned for the Monday edition, brand new yoga pose to come. All right. It's birthday time. And remember, right in the middle of the week on the Wednesday edition, we cover the Tuesday birthdays, the Wednesday birthdays, and the Thursday birthdays. So let's get to it. So on Tuesday, May 9th, which was yesterday, it was Mason C's birthday in room 307. Happy birthday, Mason. And today, Wednesday, May 10th, it's Orlando's birthday in room 301 and Emily's birthday in room 308. Happy birthday, both of you. And on Thursday, May 11th, which is tomorrow, it's Alex's birthday in room 201. So let's do our birthday celebration round of applause hands so we can launch these birthdays in full McAvenue style. Here we go. All right. So happy birthday, everyone that's on this list and happy birthday to everyone that we covered earlier in the week. And we will do more birthday shout outs on Friday where we simply cover the Friday birthdays and Saturday birthdays to end our week. All right, it's McAvenue's joke of the day. Remember, coming in with student joke as usual from now until the end of the school year. Today's joke is, what did the banana say to the dog? Hmm, interesting one. What did the banana say to the dog? All right, do you have your guess, prediction, or suggestion locked in your mind? All right, here we go. The banana said nothing because bananas can't talk. That's it. Bananas simply can't talk. So they're not going to talk to a dog or anyone else at all. Take a look at the graphic for today. There we go. We got a banana getting loose. Notice, no mouth because it can't talk, but that banana can dance though. Even though it can't say anything, it can definitely dance. All right, so that's McAvenue's joke of the day. Remember to share with family and friends to get them to smirk, to get them to smile, and better yet, to get them to laugh. The whole idea of doing these is to start your day with a smile on your face, and then you can share it with somebody else later on in the day, and you can make their day as well. Remember, stay tuned. Friday edition, another student joke. That's a good one. I love the joke and I love the graphic together, right? Perfect match there. All right, we have many good news stories to cover, so get comfortable and we'll go right through them. So that's McAvenue's Artist of the Week. Everybody knows Sebastian in room 301. Take a look at the picture that he was working on down there with a little line form with some abstract design and shapes and adding some color to that. So nice job, Sebastian, uh, being McAvenue's Artist of the Week. Congratulations. We also have some more after school planting fun that's going on with Mrs. Gervais. Um, so I know they planted marigolds, which is a flower uh, that really has kind of this really cool orange, just gold flower on the top. And they put some pinwheels inside um, each one of the planting boxes. And I found out um, through Mrs. Gervais that when you put the pinwheels in there, it keeps the squirrels out so they don't eat the, eat the um, plants that are growing or the seeds that are in there. So very cool. So nice job, uh, after school students with some garden planting. That was really cool. Uh, grade two yesterday went to the Stone Zoo. We have a lot of Stone Zoo field trips that are coming up. I believe our grade four students are going as well. Uh, great, great field trip. Take a look at the pictures. They did a lot of um, exploring, checking out some animals. They even got to go into the petting area, which is really cool. I know that field trip went very, very well. It was a beautiful day out. You couldn't ask for a better day. And the student behavior was amazing. So nice job. Stone Zoo, always a great field trip and lots of fun learning that occurs. We also got to recognize Brad. And Brad is, uh, remember, a third grade student in those two homerooms, 108 and 304. Um, he is McAvenue's Musician of the Week. So Brad did a great job keeping a steady beat. Brad did great at following the directions. Brad is always very nice to his classmates. And last but not least, 
Brad made a great connection between class and real life. So congratulations, Brad, being McAvenue's uh, Musician of the Week. Shifting gears right now to ST Math, good news. That's Nolan in room three, uh, pardon me, 203, uh, grade one student. He moved along and completed that grade one journey, 100% progress, and he'll join the others on that very crowded 100%ers aboard. And, aboard. and Jalen also in, uh, will join Nolan on that 100%ers board. However, Jalen is a second grade student in room 104, been working really, really hard on completing that grade two journey. And I love it. He's got the mini GG plushie right there. We also have from the same classroom in second grade, room 104, that's Justin Bell. He's already a uh, ST Math champ. Right now, he is a super champ because he's reached 200% progress. So congratulations, Justin Bell, on your extended grade two journey. Joining him on that extended grade one journey, 200% progress, another super champ, Corbin, uh, got back from the Stone Zoo, logged into ST Math, and he uh, moved right on to 200% progress. So congratulations, Corbin. Remember, all the kids that are super champs and super duper champs, they get that special tag that goes above their 100%er picture. Uh, that is on uh, the 100 percenters board in the main office. Uh, we also have, um, uh, we have a, a part of me, I was uh, looking at the GG plushie that was adorable. In room 206, we have Azara, Az Az Azara. Uh, pardon me. I don't know why that's a tongue twist twister for me, but Azara worked really hard on that kindergarten journey. Uh, so many students in kindergarten are completing that kindergarten journey. Uh, she is the latest student uh, that will be on the 100 percenters board. So Azara, congratulations. Nice job. Uh, we also have Ruthia in room 103. Mr. Cotta's class moved right along that grade two journey. Um, holding that GG plushie there. Very, very excited. Congratulations, Ruthia. And we also have another super champ. Uh, that's Eva in room 103. Mr. Cotta's room again, 200% progress. So Eva, you will get that special tag above your 100 percenters picture. And I believe that is it. So let's do our celebration. Congratulations round of applause for all the good news stories that we shared, including SD. <laughs> all right. As I mentioned, remember, you only had one... Um, one ST Math shout out on Monday, that was Caleb, and we had multiple ones, as I mentioned before, I knew it was going to happen. So nice job, everyone. Uh, let's move on right here. So as I mentioned before, on Monday, we end up getting that report toward the end of the, the school um, day around progress at uh with that in all the schools that do st math in lowell and we're really working hard to extend that lead uh over the washington wolf pack uh so let's take a look at what we're doing remember we're very close to 100 percent, but you never know what's going to happen with the washington school so let's do our round of applause remember washington school goes first and then we will go after drum roll please get your hands going all right, so the Washington School right now, oops, sorry, oh, let's try that again. At 95%, uh, my button for the advancing the slide on my computer has been sticking lately. So and if you've noticed, I've been a little slow on the slide transition. So the Washington School, 95% progress. Uh, let's do the drum roll anyways, because everybody knows that we're above 90, 95% progress. There we go, 98% 98 pro, 98 progress for McAvenue. And right now, I bet you, we are right on the doorstep, if not 100% progress already, uh, which is going to be amazing. But I'll do that official share out um, to see where we are with our percent progress on Friday. So let's give ourselves another round of applause. Still 4% higher than the Washington School. All right. And remember, if we had 100% progress and we're already over 1 million puzzles, we'll do something special here at the school for everyone. Um, a nice little celebration with our friends from ST Math. All right. Nice job, everyone. All right. When you know that, you see that blank kind of McAvenue school colors screen, you know, it's time to talk about our core values. What's the first one, everyone? That's right. It is respect. And what's the second one? Perfect responsibility. Nice job. And that last one. All right. It is safety. So right now, I am going to do two core values. I want to focus on respect and responsibility to go along with what I mentioned before with the volume in our school building, right? So in order to be responsible here at McAvenue, we have to make sure that it doesn't have to be silent in our hallways and our stairwells, but it needs to be at a lower volume, especially on a testing day. So responsible students will make sure that they control their volume. Also, the respect challenge is that if you do that, then you respect those fourth graders that need absolute quiet so they can do their very best. They don't need to be distracted at all when they are taking that MCAS. So it's a two core value challenge for today underneath uh, respect and responsibility. 
Give me a double thumbs up if you think you can do both of those things. I know you can. All right, awesome. And remember, when we put respect, responsibility, and safety all together, we will continue to make McAvenue the best school that we all know. So that's it for me. Uh, let's do our fist bump sign out and get on with our day. Here we go. One, two, three. So go get them today. Work hard today. Laugh today. Smile today. Remember your double respect and responsibility core value challenge today. Good luck, grade three students, or pardon me, grade four students for your math MCAS. You got next two days and then you'll be all set for the school year remember if you see nurse robin say happy school nurse day remember when you go down to the cafeteria and you see our great food service people make sure to say thank you for all the hard work that they do um and i think that's it um i have nothing else on this wednesday very very busy today so go get them have some fun and remember get outside and enjoy the beautiful weather that we're having take care and i'll see you soon